Yeah, hey everybody, it's the program. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machine, start talking, turn on the timer. Set up our minds to think about how we're doing. Let's all relax and think about what we're going to do this hour. What we're going to do. Uh, how did we start this thing off? You know, it's been about six days into this new year. And I still don't remember how to start things off. And maybe I never did know. Maybe that's the thing. I'm like, how did I do it? How did I used to do it? I got to go back and watch those old episodes. Like, how did we start off the program without doing the national anthem and, and rolling into the things? It's like, was there a thing? Was there a thing we were doing or we were just going? I mean, I, I, I was just going for it. And now I'm just going for it again. But now I'm just thinking about that time, the past and, and the recent past. And now that we're in our new past, it's our new present. And what does the new present hold for us today? Viewers on this Monday, it's back. We're back into the fall. Look, I have a jacket on. And it feels good to be back in the fall because it was so hot for so long. And now it's back to, you know, normal, normalness. And it's a good feeling, but it's also, uh, maybe good feelings aren't the best for television. It's like when you have bad things and things are happening, it's like conflict. I guess when you're watching, uh, like fictional television, everything's got to go things have to go wrong and if they're not going wrong then what are you watching like where's the conflict so maybe you know things are going fine and now that it's not no longer hot and I can be comfortable it's like the the weather changed and we got a new couch and like we're, we're, we're on a roll things are happening and now it's 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 too good. Things are good, and I don't have anything to complain about. And I don't know if this thing is like about complaining. Are we always complaining all the time? We could do other things though. We got some messages. We're gonna look at those messages. We're gonna look into the past a little bit. Maybe we'll take a look at Mr. Catherine. These are some things we could do. Let's get it rolling though. Let's take a look at the phones. Who's on the phones today? What the? Here it is, the phone. I should move the camera a little bit. I don't know, cut off. There we go. Oh yeah, Mr. Ginsu left a good amount of messages. So did yellow fellow. So since we have all those messages, I want to call Freddie the producer and say, "Hey, Freddie the producer, how's the production end going? It's the program. How's everything like over there?" This is it, here we go. Ring a ding ding, Freddy. Uh -oh. Hey, you've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message. Hey, you've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. No, thank you. 
It's the program. How are you? How's your life? How's your diet? How's your family? How's your feelings? How's your health? How's, how's your uh, faith in life and beliefs? How's your belief structure going? How are your goals? How's the production in? Are you are you feeling fulfilled, Freddie? Are you feeling, living a fulfilled life? Are you waking up in the morning and thinking like I have things to do today and I'm going to do them, and then and then at the end of the day you think I completed my day and I did it. Maybe you go to bed and you're exhausted and you say, "Boy, am I exhausted!" But you know, when I go to bed, if I'm not totally exhausted, maybe I'm wasting my life. Are you thinking those things? Everything's going. Well, on this end, I was saying earlier that maybe things are going too well and that we need to, uh, maybe, so I'm going to hire somebody. Not, not that I want this to happen. Uh, this, is, this is somewhat of a, of a joke or a non sequitur kind of thing or something. I'm going to hire somebody to beat me up or something. I'm going to be like, oh, I got beat up. This is something to talk about. Then what am I going to say, though? I got beat up. It'll be like that one time that Dan got mugged. Remember when Dan got mugged by like 16 year olds out there in uh, uh, by Fujiyama uh, on the west side Dan got mugged he talked about that that was years ago though you can find that episode the Dan got mugged episode well you can call us back uh, you have quite a bit of time we're calling you at the beginning of the show you still have 50 minutes so we only called you in the first like 10 minutes of the show you see anything out there on the streets I saw something actually today. I rode the bus. I got on that bus to go out to Grays Harbor today. Sometimes I like to just get on the bus and just ride around the Northwest. And I rode to Grays Harbor to all the way to Aberdeen and came back and I, I saw Aberdeen and I saw some depravity <laughs> in Aberdeen. Let me tell you something about this. Do you think people are, are like, Olympia is kind of crazy, but you go to Aberdeen, it gets weirder. And it's, it's the people on the streets and it's everybody that out there. Uh, I saw some parents who were yelling at their children and looked uh, to me like they were crazy. And what do you do at a time like that? But it was their own kids. It's like you had kids and you're crazy. And then their 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 kids are just like you know so used to their parents' craziness that they didn't even acknowledge what they were saying. Like their parents were telling them crazy things, and the kids were just kind of ignoring them because they're like, oh. Mom's crazy. Mom's crazy. So they don't have to acknowledge what their mom is saying. Bye, Freddie. They don't acknowledge what their mom is saying because they know they're like, oh, well, mom's just saying more crazy stuff and they're following her around. They don't know anything else and they don't know where they don't have anywhere else to go. And their mom, I guess, is keeping them alive. At least they're alive. But how alive are they? Because they're all wet. <laughs> yeah, I saw this kid and like they uh, it was raining outside and this mother was it's like having her, like, I don't know, this kid was maybe five or five, I'm going to say three to eight. I'm not a very good judge of kids' ages, but she was in a stroller. This little kid was in a stroller and getting rained on. And then I, I saw I saw the kid and then, you know, when the kid gets up, the kid's all wet and doesn't even wipe off her face. Uh, and... And when she got up, her whole stroller was covered in crumbs. Uh, so she was just like totally saturated in crumbs and um, rainwater. And, and she was going, bah, 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 like making weird sounds. And her mom was like, shut up. <laughs> uh, kid, she, mom was yelling at her to shut up. And the kid was getting like being all nasty, like wet and wearing and like crummy. And going like, the mom was like, "Hey, you, you stop that!" And the kid, like, it's still ignoring her, being kind of wild herself. So that was something. And what do you do in a situation like that? You can't do anything about that. You just have to you see and you think that is a life, and it could be your life. I don't know how that kid's gonna turn out. Anybody else's uh, parents like that? Yeah, my, my parents were like that, I think. If your parents were like that, you can call this number. 
up here it's 360 836 for three or four you can call the number and then you could tell us about your parents who let you in the rain in the stroller and you were like bah, 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 bah. And they're like, shut up! Hey, kid! Shut up! Stop that! Stop that! Uh, but she seemed wild herself. The parent did, so... I think maybe it's a combo. It's a combination of of these things. I'm gonna call Dan Dobler. Oh, I like wearing, I like wearing the jacket. It feels nice. It's a good good weather to be wearing a jacket. Be be Hello. Hey, Dan. Hey! Hey, it's the program. We're on TV. How are you? Hey. I'm just calling. I'm saying hi. Are you happy? Yeah. yeah. Are you happy about the weather, Dan? It's 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 finally not so hot and it's raining. You happy about it? I know. I know. I know. You happy about it? You like the rain? Uh, I, I, I don't want the rain. I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't. I don't walk in it, but. Uh, uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Yeah, I think it's nice, though. It's like, uh, you think it's refreshing the planet or something. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's Maryland? Hey. Good. At at their place, and she's calmed down listening to the Beatles and meeting them out now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how about... How uh, I, 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 uh, uh, thanks for calling, uh, to me, but, uh, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't feel like talking right now. All right, thanks, Dan, bye. Uh, <laughs> Dan Dobler. Okay, next is, uh, this message we got from Yellowfellow. I think it's too late to call Mr. Ginsu back. Mr. Ginsu left us several messages as well. Hello. Hello. Yellow fellow out there in Philadelphia. doesn't answer on the first ring is often doesn't answer at all. Oh. Washington. Hey, yellow, hey, yellow fellow, second ring today. Hey. Didn't answer immediately. Second I thought, ring, is that better? You make fun of me for answering it right away. Did you, hey, how's it going, Kenny? Did you wait on purpose? I was looking at the, I, I was, when it first ring, I said, if you don't answer on the first I ring, you often don't answer. I got to learn to wait. How are you? I'm doing good. Some friends right now. You're hanging out with your friends? Yeah, so I might not be able to talk long. Do they know about the program? They don't know about the program. Well, I kind of mentioned the program. Yeah, tell all your friends. Yeah, tell all my friends. You should, when you meet people, you say, Nice to meet you. Let me tell you about the program. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you about the program. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, say hi to Jordan, man. Hello, program. Hello, Jordan. Ready? This is. Uh, yeah, this is Jordan. How are you? Have you have you ever been on TV before? I've never been on TV before. No. Yeah. You, you know about? <laughs> I'm on, can I give a shout out to some people in Washington? Yes. Okay, I'm giving a shout out to my friend Matt. He probably doesn't watch it because he doesn't do anything like that. But if you hear this, Matt, I love you. Have fun in Washington. I love you too, Matt. Kenny loves you too, Matt. <laughs> yeah, he can hear me. I can when you say goodnight. Okay, good night. Bye bye. Bye.
Yellowfellow and Jordan. I wonder if that's the uh, person that he was trying to talk to. I remember the other day he was sending some text messages and I recommended that he just go for it. And he's like, I've been texting around and like he texted somebody like a while ago and then he didn't ever answer. He didn't answer. And then one time he did. Yeah, we gotta go find John Webster too. I don't know where John Webster is. We can call call his phone again, but his phone is off. I think his phone is off. Like we gotta go over there to find him. We gotta go to his home. I'm gonna send Bird after him. Say, hey Bird, find John Webster. Find him. All right, here let's uh let's listen to one of these Mr. Ginsey voicemails, and then we could do some of this tape stuff. She can see left us a good amount of voicemails today, like several. Here it goes. Holy sheep shirt. Uh, going down. Holy sheep shirt. Uh, sheep shirt. It's going down. In the daytime yesterday? Uh -huh. Well, that was the message. I don't remember what was going on yesterday. Were you sleeping? Um, whoa. There's this, uh, these messages from the past from 2016, last year. So what we were doing last year. I'll buy something to eat. Thank you. <laughs> Carl, you hungry? Ah. ah. Bye. Where's the best couple ever? They're the couple. Look outside. I went outside for a while. Uh, I got wireless again. Carl's here. Uh, yeah. We actually make no phone calls and listen to no messages today. Wow. What? Yeah. So listen to us. Is that is that possible? We use our wits the whole time. It's pretty wild. Oh it's possible. Uh, <laughs> we're on every night, 11:30 to 2 a.m. on TV Channel 22, 360, 364, Call in. Marriage. I just talked about marriage now, so we do talk about marriage. Gee. But not in the program. Bye. 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 Yeah, hey everybody. Woo, look at scary. Um, Ooh. are you scared? <laughs> Carl is missing again. Who knows where he is? Maybe he's uh, dead. Ooh. Uh, Luke's here. We're talking about our fears. What else are we talking about? Cream of the County Awards. Dance Only Dance House Party coming up next week. Ooh. Don't call us. We're dead. Bye. This is the today one. Can you, yeah, we're, can you say hi on the commercial, David? Sure, I wish you could buy me something to eat. I'm hungry. I'll buy something <laughs> to eat. Hey, David Lieberhart. Uh, it, I'll do the commercial. What is it? It's uh, this. We're on TV right now. David Lieberhart is here. He sings a song. You're, he's famous. People are taking me for granted right now. We're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TV. <laughs> People are taking me for granted. 360 calling in the message. Get on TV.
September September 25th. Whatever that one is, we should watch that one again. We should call David Liebhart and tell him we're coming to California. I wonder if his number is still in the system. David Liebar, we're going to come see you in California. I don't know if we're going to be able to find him, though. I don't know if we're, where he is. <laughs> Can we go to your home? David's been to my home. You be free. Thanks, future. Bye. Bye. Good to be free, Dan. Dan's got some freedom. Great. Um, okay, we're going to move this thing down here. For this message. See? Hey, future, it's us, the past. Remember this day? It's... Uh, Monday, and I'm feeling good, and I got a jacket on because it's finally good weather for jackets. And you know, it's almost October, and even by then, it's still not like we're doing scary month again next year. Uh, thanks. Bye. All right, here we go. Taking a look. I want to look at, I don't know, a couple weeks. I'm just going to rewind the tape. I'm going to rewind the tape for some. You hear that? That's the sound of a tape rewinding. Or uh, it's rewinding in its own time, so I don't know how long it's going to go. Now we're going to find out. How are you? Good. When are you? Uh, in the future. Are you tomorrow? Are you later? Later. This is the last week of the couch. is going away. Oh, yeah. Do it's gone. That. You are, too. And you're sitting on the new couch now, maybe? And how is it? Is it nice? It is, is it nice. Good? Oh, yeah. It's comfy. Okay, thanks. Sorry. <sighs> it's too future comfy, bye. baby. It's putting me, it's, 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 uh, placating me at the couches. On the it's message, and it's the daytime. What a day. Uh, it's, it's the last few days of the couch, and we're going to be celebrating and moving into the future. Goodbye, uh, couch. Dan Dobler got a new cell phone. Bell is driving. Bird's getting oil changed. I'm alive. Bye. Bye. We're alive, and are you alive? Yes. I hope you are, because otherwise it's so scary. How yeah. can you hear this if you're not alive? Yeah. Are you past that time you're sitting on a new couch? I am. Did you retire the national anthem for your the program? We did. Bring it back every once in a while. Hey, I, guess it anything. Like a, I guess. But we're going to do that, so now it's happening. Uh, I'm alive. Me too. I feel pretty good. How do you feel? Good. Thank you. Real Bye. good. Bye. We're back here in the past. You know what day it is? I it know. is uh, Friday. And Friday the 15th. Well, it's a good temperature. Remember how it was so hot? In the past, it's no longer too hot, but it might go back. I don't know. Yeah. It's a weather report. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Future. Future. You want to say something to the future? The future? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we need peace. Yeah, we do. We, we need peace. Yeah, we do. We do. Thanks. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, okay. hey future. It's us, the past. Hey, past. What? What? 
What do you have to say to the pat or to the future? Watch out for that Grim Reaper. He'll get you. Don't let him get you. Okay, bye. Bye. The last day of the calendar year for the program because it's September 18th. I'm alive. Is the couch still there? Because oh, I was going to ask Freddie if the couch made him sick. Did you make him sick, couch, or you don't want to be put up on your side? Uh, you don't want the new couch to come here? Maybe, maybe, so not me, though. Please don't do anything to me. I don't think you did anything to Freddie, but maybe. Uh, bye. The couch is, is creating diseases. Oh. The old couch is diseasing us. Hey, good hey. We're celebrating our year seven anniversary. It's a year, this is a, it's a year eight kickoff, year seven anniversary. <laughs> we were confused about the numbers. How sure are you about the numbers? Maybe Not so sure. This. I don't know if you remember this last year. What's this year about? I think this year might be about shelves, possibly. No, Whoa, don't get that's you don't think so? too excited. Oh, yeah? Exciting. I don't know. It's a possibility. It's a pretty good year. Got a new couch. Yeah. First day of the new couch. Right, well, this message to the future can be a little bit longer. Oh. Just because it's like the year, mm -hmm. maybe. But also, we're going to still be looking at this like tomorrow. Yeah, why did you do that? Let's we'll say by the last year. Maybe you could try to pull out this tape, I think. So, bye. 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 It was too long. Pass. What do, you, what do you have to say to the future? Hey, future. Someday, part of you will contain me in Olympia again. After the 26th, I guess. But right now, you remember the future. You remember. You remember the past future. Back when I was in Maryland. That's right now. Whoa. How you doing? Thanks, future. Bye. Bye. Hey, double message, double message of the future. Bye. Hey, we're still here. Bye. So that's the past. We're back on the original tape. Mm. And it's the 22nd. It's two days after the thing. We have this couch. And it's comfortable. It's, it's happening now. Uh, you can believe. Can't call us back. Thank you. Bye, future. I can believe now. It's, thanks uh, for the permission. first. I'm alive. Are you alive? I have all my fingers. I have any extra fingers. Me too. Um, if you're not alive, how are you seeing this stuff? Because you're a dead person. It's scary. Yeah. You know, all these things mm -hmm. you're saying, all these future messages. Yeah, I know those things. going to say a new thing this time? No. Whereas, uh, remember when the guy was on the bull, Mr. Kinsu told us, and then the bull spared his life? I'm feeling a little bit sick, I think, from the couch. The, Maybe it the bull. got me too. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, I'm getting better. I'm on the upswing from that sickness from that day. Oh. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hey. It's the past. Good luck in the future and do something about the one thing. What thing? Yeah. What are you talking about? All right, thanks, past. Bye. Yeah. Why are you being vague? Past. Hey, we're here with Dan Dobler in the, in the past. What do you have to say to the future, Dan? Uh. Uh, 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 this, uh, this time next month, I, 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 I be, I be, I be, I be nicotine free. I, I be, I be free. I'm, I'm gonna be free. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be free. Liberty from nicotine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Give me free. Yeah. Thanks, future. Bye. 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 That was yesterday. It was today. Remember this day? It's uh Monday. And I'm feeling I got a jacket on because it's finally good. Uh, I like the jacket. You know, it's almost October. And even by then, it's still not. Like, we're doing Scary Month again next year. Uh, thanks. Bye. Bye. The jacket is nice. There's the old couch. Here's the old couch. On its side. How you doing, old couch? I'm on the new couch. Over here, and it's nice. I like this new couch. Maybe it's growing. It's growing on me. Did we listen to all the Ginsey messages? We did not.
There's many more actually. Oh, and there's also a Dan Dolan message that we didn't listen to yesterday. Because he was here, so we didn't play it. But we should have. For him to hear his own message. Well, you did talk to me yesterday, Dan, so I guess it all worked out. Um, let's uh, keep going with these messages. Mr. Ginsu has like four more. So, and let's give him a listen. Mr. Ginsu, what did you have to say today? My, my old teacher. My old teacher. She messed with my life. No, why did she do a thing like that? Kenny, ask me what America means to me. What does America mean to you? Fine. America means to me a place where they'll take your girlfriend away from you when you're 13 <laughs> yeah. in order for somebody else to have sex with her. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> that's odd. That's odd. Mm, he was sounding weird too. Was he sounding weird? So what Mr. Ginsu is a character a actor. And he's been making this whole Mr. Ginsu thing up this whole time because that's what kind of sounded like he dropped it. He sounded weird. Well, let's listen to this one more time. It sounded weird. Ask me what America means to me. Why are you sounding so weird? Fine. America means to me. Oh, uh, what? Place where they uh, take your girlfriend uh, away from you when you get married. In order for somebody else to have sex with you. What does America mean? He's just a more talker than I don't know. Hey, Kenny. Just everyone over there told you John McCain had cancer. Uh, and Joe. No. Well. I'm sitting there watching TV now, and he's getting that taken care of. Is it cancer? It's brain cancer, but you can tell some of it's in his jaw. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. How you get that uh, he's getting it taken care of. How does that work? How about that? You're welcome. Who, who, which one did McCain lose to Obama won? Is that what happened? And then Romney. I think Romney was doing something recently, too. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so oh, Bill yeah. Cassidy is a doctor that's working on the Graham Cassidy bill. And that's the one that the bill they're going to try to replace Obamacare with. Oh, uh, yeah. So now you got a doctor, which is one of the doctors that's working on the bill that he's going to get through oh fuck so you need to get a patient one of the people that's hurt to go in there and help write the bill so now then you would have a doctor and a patient writing the bill like me you should get me over there you come tell Trump to send a plane over here get me cart my ass over there and I'll help write the bill and I'll tell them to fuck off whatever they need to get fuck off. Because uh, I see bullshit a mile away, motherfuckers. Don't replace Obamacare. Leave Obamacare where it's at. Just make the doctors do two or three things per visit. And the whole thing will come back. What 
Where's your sunglasses, Rosetti? Um, here's the last message from Gintu today. Well, it seems to me, Kenny. Yeah? The people who listen to your show, they have to, because the timing was, I told you that John McCain had cancer, and then, I don't know how many months ago that was, but now he's had it taken care of, and he seems to be doing pretty good. That's plus for him, right? So... Uh, doing good, doing good. Him, whatever. However they figure that shit out. Um, that's still hard to say. Uh, was it on their radar before I said something? I doubt it. Why, well, you diagnosed so, him? That's all I got to say about that, okay? Later. I don't remember that happening. Apparently, Mr. Ginsu diagnosed John McCain's cancer on the program, and then John McCain's doctors or whoever, the Republican Party, were listening to the messages, and they were listening to the program. Hi, John McCain's doctors. If you're watching this, you're welcome. Like Mr. Ginsu said, maybe you could say you're welcome to Mr. Ginsu for diagnosing cancer over... The news or something, I think is what happened. Mr. Ginsu is oh has some pretty amazing medical diagnosing abilities. Uh, here, I want to listen to a couple of these old Mr. Ginsu messages now too. It's because I'm. I don't know, I hadn't had enough, I hadn't had enough. Listen to this one. Maybe this is Mr. Gets you saying something about drama cancer. <sighs> Hit the way past. Hey, Kenny. What? I thought maybe you should start uh, listening to Rush Limbaugh. Why? Because he said he's going to scare the panties off the chicks. What? That's so that na- you disgusting. can take advantage of it. That. So, you need to go start hanging out with Rush Limbaugh because he's scary enough. He's scared the panties off the chicks. And then, <laughs> so can, you can You're of, just uh, like actually suggesting chicks. of taking advantage of people, right. like, like so, in in the go. phrase, like not even. Even though Rush Limbaugh is an asshole, you're using the phrase like taking like advantage of people. He's Seems like an if, asshole. If you want, but he's scary and he's scared the panties off the chicks. So that Kenny can take advantage of the chicks. If you want to take advantage of somebody, people who are doing that are using like alternate language. He says, I scared the panties off the chicks and help Oh, stop saying that. Dumb fuckers out there uh, ready to take advantage of them. Yep, yep, he said it. It's them words just like that, I think. Something like that. Pretty close to that, as far as I can tell. (laughs) Fucking son of a bitch. Yep, yep. Yeah. I don't agree with that little son of a bitch freaking nerd at all. Um, oh, deal. Christmas. He's fucking... What a dick. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, I deal. Back. Okay. Um... Yeah, don't use that phrase. I mean, don't, don't don't take advantage of people. But why are you like why most people who want to take advantage of people, they don't want to they think of it in other ways, and they're like, oh, and then you're like, you know, that's kind of taking advantage of people, and you're like, oh, it is. Maybe I should do something else. And it's like, I think this is a chance that we could take advantage of people, Mr. Kinsu. That is bad. I say I say it's bad to take advantage of people. Kicking them while they're down. Vulnerable people. Uh, 
I found a chance to take advantage of the vulnerable. You want to join me? So, I was listening to the radio. China's not playing our shit. We're not sending China's poison dog food back. Well, you don't send China's poison dog food. poison dog food back because they might try to put it in something else and send it back. Fuck off. You just deal with it, bury it, and fucking go on. All right? Uh, okay. You don't give them a chance to freaking let that shit go somewhere else. You know they would if they would have sent it here. They would have sent it somewhere else anyway. So fuck off. Fuck off. Anyway, he says anything could happen at any time. And I'm like, oh, you cornhole. Because them people, they're thinking about fucking with them people over there, fucking using them uh, chemical weapons. And, uh,. Well, if they do, the people would deserve it, right? Uh-huh. Because that's all there is to it. <laughs> if you're going to fucking play the game, know the rules. Which is like, be a lawyer, if you're going to fucking be alive. <laughs> Otherwise, you're fucked. You understand? Yeah, so kind of. get to it. Let the fucking begin. And... The other part was a uh, uh, welcome to my world. What? Anything can happen at any time. Split second. Here, fuck. Yep. Yep. Here, fuck again. <laughs> now you're fucked for like three to five years. And you didn't even have nothing to do with it except for after you motherfucking grow your marijuana. It gets my ass. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I just barely want to participate here. <laughs> now I'm participating. Fully invested. Mm-hmm. And I'm fucking... What do you call it? I don't know. In hot or up to my neck and... Not my money. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck over? If only I could grow me a crop of marijuana. You and do eventually. Until it gets to be sticky, gooey, green, smelly, fucking. Guns are fucking. But. Uh huh. All right, Mr. Ginsu. Well, that's all the Ginsu messages. Let's uh, let's look at Mr. Catherine. It's been a while. Mr. Catherine in Kenya. Maybe. Went over the tape. It was out here. Is this one? No, this is Budapest River Cruise. Here's our Africa Master 103. Ethiopia. Is it Ethiopia? No, it's Kenya, right? Ethiopia is over, I think. I'm looking for Kenya, East Africa. Kenya. Oh, there's also this. We should do this. We haven't done this in a few days. I'm going to tell you something about the program, about how how we do things. I'm going to make this tape better. Hey, everybody. You're watching the program it's the daily hour we're on every night at 11:30 and 2 a.m on TTV channel 22 you can call in and leave a message you call that number up there it's 360-836-4384 and you call in you leave a message get your voice on tv and then we call you back later on it's it can be some people get confused by it 
but uh, it's like not we're not live. We're hyper live. What do we call it? We don't turn off the tape when we start taping. We've been taping every single day since September 19th, 2010. So if you're watching this, you're like, what are you even doing? And it's like, well, I'm trying to get through a day because this happens every day. And I don't plan things. Maybe I should plan things, but I don't plan things. Uh, we're just going to keep going like this, though. It's off the cuff and it's fun. So call and leave a message is not a big deal. Or don't, because I'm going to keep going to anyway. Thank you. And back now, after the song, to regular time. Hey, back to regular time. I'm still trying to find that. I didn't. I didn't find that Mr. Uh, Catherine tape while we were in the in that little uh, time to, to 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 talk there. You know, you saw me what I was doing the whole time. So when when was I gonna even find it? Oh, here it is. Up. Oh, Mr. Catherine. Cut Mr. Catherine off in the middle of a sentence. So let's cut. Yeah. Gazelles right here. Gazelles. What are they doing? There's no elephant in the road, Mr. Catherine. Look, look at it. <laughs> what? We're at the Tararangi National Park. Tararangi. The hotel intended area is up above this canyon. River running down through it. <clears throat> and supposedly quite a number of animals within this park. We're going out now for a four-hour viewing session. It's the pool area. Oh, we out now for a four hours. This is the area. setting area, open, overlooking this whole valley. Very beautiful setting. Yeah, you can eat out there. Very loud birds. Is that what those are? Is that what that sound is? Loud birds? They're doing more than humming. 
They are ru ready to rock us. Wow. Ruckus. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with Mr. Catherine? Summer is starting in October. No, no, no. Well, yeah, but it's only May. Well, spring. Well, this is late fall, and then it's going to be winter. July is winter. A poem. Fred says that each species has its own season. Fred? Mr. Catherine's name Fred? Captain Mepin and Fred. A lot of elephant. That noise is crazy. They don't notice people, the elephants, so they don't care about people. Why were they? They're so big. There's so many of them. What are they worried about? What do they? What do they do that they're so big? Lions? Are those lions? They look like rocks, huh? That's a little scary, Mr. Catherine. I would run. Boy, he's a big one too. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not going to try to like, come after you, Mr. Catherine. Oh, yeah. Those baby elephants. <laughs> That's what elephants sound like to me. Oh, there's a pack of babies. I wonder if they're all brothers and sisters. Uh, there's a pack of baby elephants. Are they all? They may be all related. I don't know. I think. I think horses and stuff only have one. Baby at a time and cows. Cats and dogs have like five. Wow. Right in this scene. Elephants. Baboons. Gazelle. Gazelles and, and elephants. Oh, they're fighting? Oh! The animals sparring. Oh, their, their heads are stuck together. Oh, that's. I'm scared of that. I don't like that. You're gonna get tangled up. That'd be awful. Oh, monkeys! Mr. Catherine, you're really brave, I think, around the animals, wild animals. So, you have a really good zoom. In the background is Warthog. Get the birds in the trees, storks. 
buzzards. Birds in the trees and the buzzing of the bees. Mr. Catherine's finger. These are all very young giraffes. Baby giraffes. What are they doing? Monkeys. Oh, 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 oh. It's a pack of them in the in the <laughs> yeah he's one of the itching itself. There's a pack of monkeys in the road. Look out, get out of the road, monkeys! Oh, you see that one jump on his mom's back? That was pretty wild. All right, well we're gonna wait till the next cut and then it's gonna be the last of the. Oh, there it is. Um, thanks, Mr. Catherine. Thanks, Yellow Fellow, Dan Dobler, Freddy, Mr. Ginsu. Uh, Mr. Catherine, Africa, monkeys, elephants, Ryan, uh, gazelles that were fighting each other. Uh, maybe Mr. Catherine's name is Fred. And thanks to the weather and to the seasons for existing. Because I almost thought that they weren't going to exist this year. I'm still caught up in it. Um, you know, thanks, Freddie. You convinced me to get this new couch. And it's like, oh, but maybe... These things are ha happening, but I feel relaxed. In the beginning of the episode, I was talking about how there was no problems and how maybe no problems is a problem. And maybe that problem is enough of a problem to talk about. So no problems, problem, talking about that problem. So it's all working out for us here. And it's going to work out. I have a, I'm confident in the next couple of days. We're going to be going to California in like two weeks. we be on the road. All right, thanks. Everybody, thanks for watching, and here's the credits. It's Monday. We're on every night on TCV Channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. YHWM.com, check it out. Basket weaving, 360-836-4384, call and leave a message, get on TV. One oh nine State Avenue, number three, Olympia, Washington, 98501. Check it out. It's our address. Here we are. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. TC TV. La Bebe, Jordy E. Fabulous. Graham Graham. Stop the spy.com. John Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers, that's you, you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.